Netflix making news. They're going to air a Breaking Bad Janice movie. White. Original cast member Aaron Paul yes, will star in it. News on Disney. They're releasing the first trailer for Frozen, the sequel to Frozen. The first Frozen made $1.3 billion worldwide. Come on in, Scott Martin. I want to talk to you about both Disney and Netflix. They're both big on content. They're going to be, these are going to be the titans of streaming, right? Yes, uh, very big competition between the two, Stuart. And I think the great thing for both companies, we own Netflix, by the way, haven't owned Disney in many years. The, the good news is the world's probably big enough for both of them because the, the content's kind of spread around, right? I mean, you mentioned uh, Frozen 2, the trailer, which, uh, let's say it, I guess I'm kind of a fan of, I know my kids are, plus the live-action movies they have coming out, the Disney live-action studios uh, with Lion King and Dumbo this year, which my kids are big fans of. And then moving over to Netflix, where my wife and I tend to spend most of our time with, you know, I mentioned the Breaking Bad movie, some other things, comedy with Am Adam Sandler recently. Just other things that they have going on on that platform, too, are able to exist, I guess, uh, coexist together. Now, do you think it's a competition of content or is there an element of price competition as well? I know we don't know for sure what Disney's going to price at, but could price be a competitive element? You know, it, it might. I, I think one of the things that, that we've seen from Netflix, I mean, just announced uh, in their earnings update, Stuart, just a couple weeks ago, that they're raising the prices and it doesn't seem to have too big of an effect as far as analysts are concerned or comments really from people I've talked to about price. You know, I think it's one of those things where a lot of these companies, including Amazon, too, which raised the price of, pre, of uh, Prime uh, last year, you know, they have pricing power here because parents, uh, viewers like uh, my age, you know, they have the ability, they, they want to see the content that these platforms produce. So if there's one that's maybe a couple bucks cheaper, I don't think that necessarily means that somebody's going to ditch the other, other service just to save a couple bucks. I know you own Netflix, and I think you've owned it for quite some time, and you've done very well with it. What would tempt you to buy Disney? If they spin off the broadcast stuff, you know, if they get rid of the networks, uh, especially ESPN, which is a loser, that would be great. Um, and, you know, they have the whole Pixar thing going on uh, as well that may be a better investment if that were to be spun out. Uh, but to me, Disney still has some of that baggage. So I like just sticking with the true content providers, and that's why we're staying in the Netflix space. When did you first realize, I mean, it's kind of almost a personal question, but when did you first realize that streaming was just going to take over the lot. I thought you were going to go another way with that one, so thank you. Um, it was a few years ago. You know, it was, it was frankly when the... It's Valentine's Day. Um, you know, when, when, we, when you started going to the movie theater, Stuart, and just seeing kind of how that experience wasn't quite what it was, say, being at home and being in the comfort of your own home, sitting on the couch, being able to just hit a button and almost get any movie you wanted, mm. that really was, I think, the turning point for me to say, you know what, people will probably really like to have that comfortability at their own home versus getting in the car, paying a high gas prices, waiting in line and going to the theater and then having to deal with all that stuff, hauling the kids there. Mm. This is all personal experience versus <laughs> staying at home and watching a movie and being able to rewatch it. I've uh, been there. We've many, all many, been many there. Times. We've all, all been, been there. there. You're right. <laughs> uh, and happy Valentine's Day to you as well, young man. Okay. <laughs> Back at you. <ya. laughs> See you later, Scott Martin.